Cool. All right, YouTube. So today we're going to play a little bit of uh, Death Shadow versus Blue White. One of my friends uh, wants to get a little bit of gameplay against this deck. So we're going to we're going to play that for at least a little while tonight. Here, get a couple matches in. Okay. Um, so this hand is not very good. I just let the Seer playing with all the other people. Because Seer Vision is the best cantrip in the uh, best blue cantrip for a deck like this. And it's just what should be played, in my opinion. Like, while Faith is Looting is a more powerful card than Seer Visions, so even in the dark, we wouldn't put this on the we would put this on the bottom. Because um we've already got answers to all of that. Okay, so it's, Seer and Vision is a better card than Thought Scour, but um, Thought Scour is more important, yes. All right, against Hollow Fountain, we don't really want another land. We're just going to Thought Seize. Now, I, I think this is a pretty good matchup for Death Shadow. So, what they do with their scry? I think it's a pretty good matchup for Death Shadow. They put a card on top. It's probably a land. I'm going to take this Detention Sphere, and I'm going to just dismember this Vendillion click when it comes down. The odds are that they kept a land on top of their deck. I think it's a very good matchup for Death Shadow, and hopefully we can showcase that a little bit tonight. All right, nice. So we're gonna be able to get nasty. All right, bolt's not bad either. Stub is real good. So we're gonna get blood crypt. Yeah, I mean, thought like what Thought Scour does to the deck is important. Now he's likely going to click me and take my Stubborn Denial. I'm not going to let the click. I'm not going to let the ability resolve. I think I'm just going to bolt it. Get that out of there. This is a little naked, but we know two out of the three cards. So, like, if they go, like, land Jace, then I'm in a lot of trouble. But besides that, we're in okay shape. There's land. We're going to get clicked in our draw step here. All right, click comes into play. What are we targeting? Targets me. Bolt this. Now it kind of sucks because even if their hand is like if they have an answer to this Gurmag Angler, they still have to take Thoughtseize. Now the only thing with this Thoughtseize does here is it clears the way for a Snapcaster Mage, which is worth it. Like we're likely not getting anything super great here, just probably a spell snare. 
But now that makes like Snapcaster Mage a live draw. Um, so like Spell is a good it's a good card against Death Shadow. Okay, that doesn't really matter. And I'm actually going to draw. I'm gonna go. I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna play out another Gurmag Angler, which basically means the only thing that I lose to is like uh, Terminus. Like make him draw exactly terminus. We beat a planeswalker. We beat a single removal spell. Yeah, I mean we deserve that, I guess. But like we, they've got, he's got more paths, jaces, and all of that stuff than uh, than terminuses. So that's just kind of the, we made our bed and we lived in it there. You just hit another Terminus. Now we're kind of in Johnny's game here. I think this Gurmag Angler is going to get Terminus, but okay. All right, we'll take one more draw step here, and then the Jace will get us. Targeted themselves. All right, we are good. And like that, there was the issue that the um, playing out the second Gurmag Angler beat more things. Like it beat a Planeswalker, which he's probably got five of. It beats Path to Exile. It beats Oust. It just loses so hard to Terminus that you've just gotta you just gotta do that. In my opinion. So in this matchup, we want Kologon's commands. We want these. We want our Snapcaster mages. Bring these in. Cut all. Um, cut these. I'm gonna keep our dismembers in for angels. Actually, I'm gonna keep in one fatal push and cut my faithless looting. No! This is something you should always be doing if you're if you play Death Shadow with Faithless Looting in your sideboard. You should always be cutting it against fair decks. Because going down a card as sometimes has a real cost.
I would like to be on the play. Uh, we have a Snapcaster Mage and a Stubborn Denial for lands. I don't mind having a lot of lands against these control decks. I'm going to keep. This hand's a little loose, but like Snapcaster Mage is one of our best cards. Death Shadow is also one of our better cards. Like... We have a lot of hits that turn this hand on next turn. I'm going to stubborn it out, I think, pretty much anything here. We're going to get Watery Grave. All right, Gurmag Angler is okay. A discard spell there would have been... Very good. We definitely have kind of a slow start here. We only have one more fetchable land. All right, Gurdad, not good. Play this little fella out. Um, let's just get our island. Moto's tweaking out. No, it was my fault, not Moto's fault. So if he's land, rest in peace, we're just going to scoop it up and go to the next game. Okay. It's not awful. Drawing a turn. I think he'll fetch. I guess you could opt into it. Yeah, no, I punted here because he could just opt into it. So now we're likely just dead because he's going to play a Jace. I kept a poor hand. I kept a hand that had plenty of mana. So, so that was my fault. Those were the beats. There, I just kept one. I kept one that just didn't develop. I probably should have thrown it back. I don't like mulliganing against blue white, but like that's like as close as it could be there. So I should I should have gone to six. Like I was just trying to I was just trying to be greedy and it didn't really work out for me. Uh, 
I'll get back into a couple more games. This is so annoying. Like, why? Oh, it's got my decks right there. Okay. <clears throat> oh man, that's that terminus on second turn of the game was was. Ruh. I would like to play first. Yeah, this hand's good. Keep this in the dark. Not gonna f not gonna cycle this on one. I'm just gonna get a watery grave. Check out what's going on there. Get a watery grave. This is pretty. This is a pretty solid hand for the matchup too, just because we can, um, like just having discard spell into snap discard spell is just so nice. And we're gonna be able to take out a lot of his legs. Like let's just take this mana leak. My moto is a little laggy. Strand. Okay. I wasn't going to do this turn. All right, that's not bad. All right, they have a hero. Probably just take this click. Because the click can mess with our hand. We might have to hold a stub until uh, until we have a, a way to deal with it. Let's draw a cryptic. Okay. So I do need either another discard spell or a stubborn denial here. That was not it. I'm just going to yield. Kind of a clunky hand. We got two removal spells. So like, you know, plays a hollow fountain. Not really doing anything over here. There's the island. Sheesh. And he's going to go, he's going to go cryptic, bounce my watery grave, and then play to fairy. Now, plays the Teferi. We're going to be able to kill the Teferi, more than likely, unless he just tries to tuck my Snapcaster Mage, which we kind of lose, but... It's unfortunate we did not hit another land drop there to at least get this stuff, get you know, get on the battlefield some more. Back to fairy. Yep. If he's gonna get into the terminus, then we're we're dead there. We're not gonna be able to get the planeswalker for the board. Man, we've had some clunky draws here.
that's a tough part about game one against these control decks. You have a lot of dead removal. Go through here. Go back to cutting. And I keep one push in. <clears throat> Hopefully we can put one together here. Supply first. We're going to keep this hand. It's a little bit of air, but I don't think you can mow this back here. Yeah, I got to push in. All right, so let's... Dermag Angler. All right, my moto is getting a little laggy. Both of these are good. So we can play Gurmag Angler on two. Which I kind of like. Or we can get an Inquisition. I think I want to wait and. Problem is, if I wait and they slams a rest in peace, then we're in a little bit of trouble. I think I'm just going to go play it. Should have left Street Wraith in the graveyard and miscounted. We definitely need a path to exile here. But we're gonna be able to play another one if that's the case. Okay. It's on the cardboard live, you can just click on it. Or you should be able to at least. Start here. Mobile. All right, so we could take rest in peace. I kind of just want to go take rest in peace. So I could just take like detention sphere vendillion click and delve my entire graveyard. We take rest in peace sphere. 
he clicks me and can potentially race me. I I kind of bolt for a push in the main deck. That's the only thing that I did. Problem is, this game goes longer, it's going to get harder. So I think I'm just going to take Rest in Peace, take Vendillion Click, Snap, Discard, Spell, play Gurmag Angler next turn. Yep, he opts looking for a land. And hit a land, okay. We might have to hold up Disdainful Stroke, which is okay. Easy, bud. Just more water, buddy. What's going on, pretty boy? So here comes Jace. I'm going to keep my graveyard stocked in case he figures out a way to bounce this. I guess, no, I should have left one more mana up in case he goes like field in the path. That was stupid. I'm going to field my red source. Jace the Mind Sculptor off the top would be nice. That was the nut there. So now he's just, now he's dead. Oh, okay. I can, I can disdainful stroke this. <clears throat> yeah, I watched Ben's stream for a little while today. <clears throat> yep, Ben did well today.
yeah, we're going to keep this. Sounds like good, not great, but we're going to do this so we don't get rest in peace. The next turn, we'll see our envisions with Street Wraith in order to hopefully find a uh, like a discard spell. I don't really mind hitting a land, so I'm not going to fetch. Okay. I'm going to fetch also here. On the bottom, put on top. So as long as we don't get rest in peace, rest in peace right here, I think this game's probably, probably pretty over. But if he goes land rip, then like that's just the cost of doing business. Okay. So he's likely as a counter spell because he didn't just field me when he knew I left a card on top. I'm just going to play this tapped. Pass the turn. He's probably going to field it. Can I get an island? Easy fill. I should have shocked. That was stupid. That was stupid. And now we're just going to like out mana him. Like we're going to start with Colagon's command at the end of their turn, returning my, my Gurmag Angler. Turn target creature. Target player discards a card. We have an answer to that colonnade also, which is good. Stub this. And now we just get to the point where he just gets outmanned. Yeah, he's super dead. Get this out of here. Play the Slim Shady. They're just like nothing. I mean, these blue white decks, like when the shadow deck. You know, does its thing. It just you just get so far underneath of them. I think playing three ley lines is just super greedy. 
And he, he even admitted it to himself. He's like, yeah, like, I know. So, I can't make this a two turn clock because the only land I have to fetch is a uh, swamp. So, we just pass. We just pass and we play Protect the Shadow. I think the young Pyromancers are like okay because there are more Liliana the Males in the format right now. Hit an opt, okay. What do you do with that? Put the card on the bottom, okay? He's gonna need like a dispel here to do anything. And even this ouch doesn't really do that much. So he has two cards. Hollow Founds. He's got Snapcaster Mage and Cryptic Command. Hmm, hmm, hmm. My fetch land goes dead if that's the case. I wish I'd have kept better track of this. So where am I here? Put one card that goes off, play strand. We're gonna discard the tension sphere, so that's the previous game. Five card, turn six. Okay. Play one, play scalding tarn, see your visions. Bottom, place field. When did I see this? Let's show colonnade. Colonnade's gonna have thought seize targeting him. Discard spirit reveals. Snapcaster Mage, Hollow Fountain, Cryptic Command. Okay. So his last two cards are Snapcaster Mage, Cryptic Command. Get that out of here. So he goes cryptic. We go snap snare or snap stub. He's out of cards. He can animate Colonnade and crack me. But but that's the only um he can put me to one, but one is not zero. So like a Jace here would be bad. Yeah. What are you doing? Jeez.
tag Jace. I'm not really sure what they put on top, but I, th well, I think I'm gonna get greedy. Total bounce command. And again, you can put me to one with the colonnade. What do we get? We got a Landorino. That likely means the card underneath is not good either. Back to four. Beginning of combat. Push that. Uh, this is likely going to be my last game of the match of the stream. I gotta go let my wife inside. And that should be game. But the only card I think that saves him is like um, Bane Slayer Angel. Like Bane Slayer Angel one time. This Snapcaster Mage would do it too, because of Supreme Verdict. I didn't think about that one. All right. Okay. I got to call it. Gotta let the wife in. Okay, so let's go back to the deck here. And let's just wrap the stream up. Okay, so I think this deck is pretty solid. Um, I think I'm going to play the second Blood Crypt purely because I have not played enough to remember that there's a there's only one Blood Crypt list. And as lame as that sounds, that's been my my issue. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I think the only other card, like, I, I would like to... The only other card that I am not a, maybe a fan of is the Jace. But I don't know what else I'm going to put in its place. So I'll likely come and try play some more tomorrow. So you guys can catch me back here. Uh, probably, I'm not sure, probably later tomorrow night. But for now, I will see all of you guys later, and thank you very much for coming down.